their emissions from livestock and poultry operations raise legitimate concerns among neighbors and the public, producers, managers, elected officials, community leaders, and neighbors need science-based information to make informed decisions. Decisions that balance the needs and concerns of the neighbors and the community and the businessmen and women who own and operate animal feeding operations. Covers are one technique for managing odors and gas emissions from manure storage facilities and anaerobic lagoons. Properly installed and maintained covers are effective. Welcome to the cover video. The goal of this video is to introduce you to covers and their use to reduce airborne emissions from livestock operations. This is one of several videos to provide useful science-based information on airborne emissions from animal feeding operations. These emissions include odors, ammonia, hydrogen sulfide, volatile organic compounds, particulate matter, and biological aerosols. There are over 300 different chemical compounds that have been identified in the air from livestock operations. Most of these are at extremely low concentrations. My name is Kevin Yanni. I am a professor and extension engineer at the University of Minnesota. This video will introduce you to covers and their use to reduce airborne emissions from manure storage facilities and anaerobic lagoons. Many livestock producers store manure, milking center wastewater, and other organic wastes in above ground or below ground tanks or lined basins until removed and applied to cropland at rates appropriate for crop use. In warm regions, manure and wastewater are placed in anaerobic lagoons for treatment before land application. It is important to remember that manure storage basins are designed and managed differently than anaerobic lagoons, even though many people use the terms interchangeably. <laughs> Manure storage basins simply provide manure storage and are emptied every year. Anaerobic lagoons are treatment systems where manure is added at a limited rate that matches the microbial breakdown that occurs in the lagoon. Anaerobic lagoons are not used in cold climates because the microbial treatment slows way down at cold temperatures. Manure storage facilities and anaerobic lagoons can emit odorous gases if left uncovered. Covers serve as a barrier between the stored manure or the anaerobic lagoon and the airflow above it. This barrier reduces the amount of gas emitted into the air. There are different types of covers and cover materials. Covers are commonly categorized as either permeable or impermeable. Permeable covers allow gas molecules in water to pass through while impermeable covers trap almost all of the gases and do not let water pass through. Straw covers are an example of a permeable cover. Straw is blown onto the manure storage facility, floats on the manure, and creates a permeable barrier that lets some gases escape and water to pass through. With permeable covers, even thin ones, less gas escapes into the air because there is less wind at the manure surface and more resistance to gas exchange between the manure and the air above the cover. Natural crusts are another type of permeable cover. Natural crusts normally form as fiber floats to the surface of the stored manure. Dairy manure storages on farms that use organic bedding almost always form natural crusts. These crusts can be a foot deep or more. Dairy operations that remove much of the organic matter in their manure using solid liquid separators will have much thinner crusts. A thin natural crust will reduce emissions, just not as much as a thick crust. Both straw covers and natural crusts are broken up and removed when the manure is agitated and removed. In addition to straw covers and natural crusts, there are a few synthetic products that can be used to create permeable covers. These include geotextile fabrics, leca, and macrolite. These synthetic materials generally last up to 10 years if not damaged during manure agitation and removal, but they cost much more than natural crusts or straw covers. Research studies have found that well-managed permeable covers can reduce gas emissions by 30 to 90 percent, depending upon material used, cover thickness, and uniformity. Impermeable covers are typically made of plastic, though few are made with concrete or wood. These plastic covers can be installed in a few different ways. They can simply float on the manure surface and rely on gravity to hold them in place, or they can be held in place by suction created by a fan. Plastic covers can also be inflated 
to be able to withstand wind and snow. Impermeable covers lying on the manure surface need a system to collect and manage rainwater and snow melt in regions of high precipitation. Research studies have found that impermeable covers are highly effective. They can reduce gas emissions by 90 to almost 100 percent. Impermeable covers cost more than permeable covers. Manure storage basins with impermeable or geotextile covers must allow access to the manure in the basin for agitation and removal. Care must be exercised during manure agitation and removal to avoid exposing workers and animals to hazardous gases. Custom applicators may charge a higher rate if covers make agitation and removal inconvenient or hazardous. There are numerous factors that owners and managers need to consider when deciding whether to use a cover to reduce odor and gas emissions and selecting a cover material. Some of these factors include cover purpose, effectiveness needed, useful cover life, manure or anaerobic lagoon sludge agitation and removal, type of livestock operation, type and size of manure storage facility, nutrient management, precipitation, safety, and costs. Covers increase producers' costs. Costs include the cover material, installation, removal for manure agitation and land application, and final disposal of the cover at the end of its useful life. Riverview LLP is a dairy that has put covers on all of its manure storage basins. We visited with Adam Zeltwanger to learn about Riverview's experience with covers. At Riverview, the home farm here, we installed a basin in 2006 and when it was new we put a cover over that and it was uh, it was a big decision because it's really an expensive odor reduction tool and it works very well. Also another benefit of that was, was the rainwater that would rain into a traditional basin. You would have to pump that water out and apply it to the land whereas we can just pump that clean water off the tarp of the basin and discharge it into the county ditch or tile system. Manure um, basin covers are very expensive. Uh, we got about a dollar and a quarter a square foot in ours, which our lagoon is big enough that that equates out to about $300,000. So that in and of itself was very costly. They're very expensive to maintain too. Um, we get, we've had deer on them in the past and we've had to get the deer removed and fix any damages that were done and it's always uh, pumps and hoses that got to be removed in the fall and then put back in in the spring for pumping the water off which is time consuming and expensive but as far as an odor reduction technology they are, a, they are a, probably the most effective tool that we have used. For more information about covers and airborne emissions from animal feeding operations you are encouraged to visit the air quality section of the Animal Manure Management Extension website. There you will find videos, fact sheets, and archived webinars.